Hey guys, welcome to the Idol Playground. I'm your host Rafi. Um, I created this YouTube channel because uh, well, I would like to share with everybody out there uh, my views on gaming, uh, media, music, movies, and basically anything that's even remotely geeky and fun. So, uh, I write a blog. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below. Uh, it's called idolplayground.blogspot.com. That's where I write about all of the topics that I just mentioned and all that. And I also talk about my day job as a video game developer and designer for Infinity Game Studio, which is of course a Malaysian company. So, on to the big news of the day. Now, on to the Xbox One. If you've been paying attention to the news in the last couple of weeks, you'll know that the Xbox One has just been revealed by Microsoft uh, at an event at their Redmond campus in Washington. Now, as a gamer that has been gaming since about 8 years old, we're at about 20 odd years now, there seems to be a massive problem with the focus of the Xbox One compared to what they had with the Xbox 360 which had a very clear focus on games and gamers the Xbox One seems to be an attempt to just take over your living room and seems to casually forget the fact that gamers put Microsoft in that position in the first place you know with all of the flashy presentations about ESPN, NFL, fantasy football, all of these things I don't think there's really much relevance to you know gamers in general, right? We got a few mentions of multi-platform sports titles from EA, which they do every year anyway, and and that was really about it. They, there was a line about 15 new exclusives, uh, but there was no new gameplay, nothing, and of course a new Call of Duty game. Now, first and foremost, a few problems about the practical, uh, practical concerns about the Xbox. First of all, there's going to be a requirement that your, your Xbox needs to check in every 24 hours, right, for an internet connection in order to connect to the cloud. Now, again, as, as a Malaysian living in Malaysia that's not living in North America and it's, uh, you know, mythical broad speed, uh, broadband high speed, right, we see this is going to be an issue for people like us simply because we don't have internet like that. We don't have internet that's always reliable and whatnot, right? Basically, anywhere except North America. Right, is going to have this particular problem with this 24 hour internet check in, right? Not only that, you have to consider that they have killed the used games market by forcing you know, people that want to purchase second hand dis discs to actually pay another activation fee on top of that to Microsoft, right? Now, this excludes a whole bunch, uh, you know, a whole bunch of gamers, a whole demographic of the market simply because of the fact that, you know, gaming in this country, in Southeast Asia, is a very expensive proposition. Uh, one game alone can cost up to 10% of most people's monthly wages and that is just not a tenable position, right? So that's why the used games market has been important in this particular country to actually allow people to indulge in gaming, to, for them to, to actually partake of the fruits of uh, you know developers' labors and whatnot. And with Microsoft doing this, basically killing the used games market and making it all about brand new games and nothing else, uh, that's that's us done. We're done. We're done. We can't we can't keep up because we just cannot keep up with the expense of what gaming uh, is going to become. And you know what? That's it. Xbox One. I'm not getting one. Now, a quick word out to those of you that are fans of uh, the British sci-fi series Doctor Who. Recently in the news, the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, has just announced that he will not be continuing as uh, the Doctor next season onwards. So the search goes on to see who will become the 12th Doctor. Now, um, now of course, the last say for this goes uh, to the uh, to the head writer, Stephen Moffat. And uh, well, I, I just suggest we trust, trust in him, I mean. After all, he is the man that did cast uh, Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock and Matt Smith as the Doctor, and both turned out to be surprises that were, were good, really good ones. So we'll see how that turns out for them, after all. So, Whovians out there, no need to worry, I'm pretty sure that the, the Doctor Who series is in very, very good hands. So that's it for the show, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully this will improve as I get to grips with, uh, with with all of these new things that I've had to put up with so far. Um, if you really like what you see and you believe that this potential, uh, this channel has potential to grow a bit more, uh, click on the subscribe button below. And uh, well, stay tuned uh, for more content as it comes uh, as it comes out. And a big shout out to Muscle Machine who actually wrote the theme song that you heard, and uh, for all the background music that you've been hearing throughout this particular. Uh, 
video so far. So, cheerio, and see you guys again next time.